Aloha, and welcome to Betty's Real Estate Corner, brought to you by Caldwell Banker, Sakamoto Properties, and Roy and Betty Sakamoto. Here we are, it's Thursday, and it's time for us to have a little bit of real estate talk. Yeah, it's um, it's a great sun, uh, Thursday, and uh, here we are on Maui, live on KAOI, and uh, lots to talk about. It does seem that way. We're, we've gone through so many different listings right now. There's so much happening in the market. Uh, fewer properties actually for sale. You know, so it does seem like if we have a new listing, uh, we just listed a property at Kapalua, went under contract on day two or three. Mm-hmm. Pretty quick, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it was amazing. Listed, uh, tell us a little bit about it, because it really is a great story. Well, it's a great property. It's, um, it's a five-bedroom, five-and-a-half-bath home on uh, about three-and-a-quarter acres at the Plantation Estates. Um, real nice freeform pool, spa. It's got a uh, kind of a little cabana outside by the uh, uh, pool. It's um, it's not quite an ohana that's connected with it because it doesn't have a kitchen, but it's uh, kind of a Japanese style cottage, if you will, that's connected to the main house, and uh, including a Japanese bath, uh, a sunken bath. And we sold it the lot. To the people that built the house. Yes. Well, you did. I mean, they were really right, yeah. wonderful people. Right. And uh, then we sold it once uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, now we've got it back on the market. So And it's back a, in escrow. So uh, It never quits. No, you know, it's um, here on, in Maui, through our Maui Board of Realtors, um, we get updates every day as far as what's new on the market, what's in escrow, what's sold. And... Um, Typically, if we are in the 300 plus or minus listings that are currently uh, in escrow, that's a, that's a fair market. Right now, we are right about the 400 level. So uh, even though interest rates are, are up somewhat compared to a year ago, it's uh, still very active, and we're seeing action all, all across the board, all price ranges. I didn't realize there were that many listings right now. In I escrow. really did in escrow. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, it's kind of interesting, you know, mm-hmm. listed as pending, and uh, you know, this is Maui County, so it encompasses Lanai, Molokai, and Maui. But um, interesting fact, and people are saying, well, the market's going to crash and so forth. Uh uh-uh, uh we're not seeing that. So. No, I, I mean, I can't say that I think it's impossible that we could see a drop in the market or a change in the market. But I, it's going to be difficult to have that happen. I think so. And um, usually our summer season is pretty busy. And uh, here we are pre-summer. It's kind of graduation season right now. And we are busy as heck. Yeah, I think it's been a fabulous graduation season. Yeah. And it's- you know what's interesting? You know, we had Sakamoto Properties for 40 years or, or whatever. And then we merged with Cowell Banker. And uh, we're still learning a lot about the Cowell Banker network and our possibilities of um, really exposing our listings to a worldwide network as well as a customer base. So um, let's say, you know, if uh, you out there are looking for property, uh, say in Colorado, wow, we've got an agent in Colorado that we can refer you to. And vice versa, Colorado agents are referring uh, interested parties in, in Maui real estate to us. Uh, tomorrow we've got uh, well, about 50 or 55 agents, top Kowa banker agents from Oahu uh, and the Big Island, visiting us in West Maui tomorrow and visiting some of our, our listings. So uh, we're getting to know all these agents on a personal basis, and, uh, you know, it's it's really paid off for us to be in this Coldwell Banker network. It really has paid off, and it's fun. Last night we had kind of an early dinner with one of the agents that flew over by himself, and we had met him at another event. But we had the nicest time just chatting with him, talking about Caldwell, talking about different things on the market, or not on the market, or coming on the market, or 
all sorts of ideas that we all have about the market. Right, yeah. So it was really pretty yeah. amazing. His name is Marco Silva, and he might be tuning in. He knows we're doing the show today. Uh, Marco, if you're tuning in, thanks for uh, great fun last night. But uh, Marco is one of the top realtors on the Big Island, uh, on the Kona Coast side. And uh, if you're interested, you know, call Betty or I uh, if you're interested in Big Island property. Uh, we'll refer you to Marco. And uh, so call us. You can reach Roy at 808-870-7060 and Betty at 808-870-7062. We're usually pretty easy to reach and get you hooked up with whoever you'd be wanting to work with or with one of us. And uh, we can be sure that you learn a lot about the market before we refer you on if it was going to be something off island, because I think it is an amazing, it's an amazing setup right now. Right, right. And if you're thinking of selling a a property, um, talk to us. You know, regardless of where your property is, we can uh, help guide you. Uh, if you're in West Maui, that's right up our our back pocket here, and you know we can uh, uh, supervise your listing. If it's uh, a property you have on Molokai, a property you have on Oahu, uh, wherever, you know, being exposed to the Cobalt Banker Network will uh, certainly give you a lot of exposure and uh, possibilities for finding a buyer. And also possibilities for if you're moving on. You know, if you've got a plan that you're going to go to the mainland, the odds are we can find a really good agent that you could be working with as you work towards selling your property, if that's going to be your eventual goal. And um, it, just ways to talk to people, get together with people. No, exactly. You know, it, it seems to be kind of a current fad where a uh, few people are interested in selling their home their condominium here, and then moving to, say, Las Vegas, which uh, seems to be a popular destination. Um, well, if you're interested in doing something like that, call us. We can help you sell your property here and then uh, help direct you to an agent in Las Vegas who will take care of you there. Uh, this way you'll have an introduction to whoever we refer you to, and uh, they'll take good care of you. Yeah, it is It is happening right now. There are a number of people that have made decisions to leave the island, which often shocks me. One of our good friends made that decision recently. They moved here 30 years ago, uh, retired from Intel, made a move here, and have decided to move back to California. And they had us list their property, got it sold almost too fast, and then they worked hard to figure out what they were doing on the mainland. They right. had some other referrals from people, you know, close friends back there. But they did find a property. They were moved in, and uh, they are happy with their decision. Right. And, uh, and uh, you know, here's something that's kind of out of left field, but uh, we have a client who was interested in buying a condominium in Paris, of all places. Now, we know nothing about the Paris market, what condominiums there should sell for, and so forth. Uh, but we do have contacts in Paris that, uh, you know, we referred her to. So it's, um, you know. Kind it's, of and a, it's fun. Yeah. It really is fun because yeah. you've hooked up with someone now that is in France. I mean, they could be any nationality. could be someone that moved there. It could be someone that's just a part of the overall Caldwell network. But it really is fun to hook up with someone to make a referral and then you've got a spot you're going to go and visit one of these days. That's right. Yeah, we've yeah. never been to Paris, but uh, nope. hopefully we get to go there and, and see this condominium one of these days. Yeah, it would be fun. Yeah. I mean, just to do it, just to make that move. And uh, got to do it. Got to do it. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, we usually talk about Maui charities and so forth. So, uh, again, a reminder, if you're looking to support a Maui charity, and all of the Maui charities need help. Um, look to Holly Makua. Uh, website is hollymakua.org, H A L E M A K U A dot org, or Maui Food Bank dot org, or Lahaina Luna High School Foundation. Foundation, the Lahaina Luna High School Foundation. I'm drawing a blank right now on what the rest of that is. If it's, I don't think it's dot org. 
Uh, I'd have to look it up uh, right sure. now, but you can right. find the Lahaina Luna High School Foundation information, and uh, they've done so much. And I know this year they did receive a really great grant from someone that's really helped them to be able to do a lot for a lot of different students. Right. So it's really pretty amazing. Yeah, we do a scholarship for a graduating Lahaina Luna High School senior. Um, and one of the requirements is um, we don't necessarily want the student who has straight A's and, um, you know, at the top of the class. Uh, that student will get their own scholarships without any problem. Um, what I like to support is somebody who's struggling and maybe a C or a B is as high as they can get, um, but they have a lot of potential. Um, I favor, you know, just helping to finance somebody like that versus uh, somebody with straight A's. I totally just a, agree. Just a personal feeling. Totally agree. I yeah. mean, I, there are so many young people, definitely at Lahaina Luna, and I'm sure at most of the schools. Oh, I'm sure. But yeah. Lahaina Luna is our school. That's where Roy graduated from. My daughter, Julie Flynn Sherlock, graduated from there. And it's, it was a great school. I mean, I think that it's really worth supporting somebody there. But it does help, I mean, to, to see to it that you step in and you find a young person that maybe is living at home still. They're still babysitting for their parents, you know, because they need someone when they're working. They right. do a whole lot of things. They're driving. They need gas for their car. They need money for a car. They need this. They, you know but they are working t so hard to be able to just get into school and anything that they can get scholarship wise makes a huge difference totally now yeah. i mean it's not necessarily that you're paying a huge amount to go to uh, you know hawaii schools but i think that the ability to just get there you know to feed yourself it all adds up it they does. need some cash yeah, to totally. just get there right now, uh, you know, speaking of high schools, it's graduation season. And uh, congratulations to all the graduating seniors uh, at all the high schools on Maui. Um, job well done. Uh, good luck in whatever your future endeavors are. And uh, I'm not sure about the private schools, but I think all of the public schools have a project graduation that uh, the graduating seniors will attend after their ceremonies. And uh, this is a drug-free, alcohol-free event after graduation. And um, thank you to everybody in the community that supports uh, a program for Lahaina Luna or Baldwin High School or Maui High School. Um, fantastic. It's great to keep the kids safe, drug-free, alcohol-free uh, on a probably one of their biggest events of their life uh, so far. Yeah, they, they, gr they graduate, uh, they make a quick stop at home, if I understand it correctly. I'm not, I'm not certain of that, but I think that they do make a quick stop, they see their I, family. Yeah, I don't think so. No, yeah. well, on the campus then, right. yeah. they see their family. It's such a huge, fabulous event. And then they go off with their classmates and everything is taken care of, you know, everything. You know, so they have fun, they have music, they have dancing, they have all sorts of things planned for them. They go to Haleakala for sunrise That's, or, or whatever. Yeah, you know, they're, they're going to come up with a bunch of things for them to do. But I think, and since this, at least Lahaina Luna, I know since this has happened, there's been no fatalities uh, at the school right. on graduation. Yeah. And most of us know of things that did happen in the past. Yeah, and thanks to Joel Navarro at uh, Ho'o Kelly Title and Escrow. Uh, Joel every year has a, um, a golf tournament uh, with um, all funds specifically going to Project Graduation at Lahaina Luna. And uh, I forget. Excuse me, you know I do have that trophy from one year. Yeah. Just you, so you <laughs> yeah, your team won. <laughs> we haven't won it yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just just thought I would mention. Yeah. Okay. That was the first one I think you guys won. I think maybe it was. Yeah. Okay. We haven't done so good since. <laughs> That's okay. But anyway, um, a fantastic effort. Thank you, Joel Navarro. It's, um, it's a charity, we, uh, charity event we love to support. It is fabulous. I mean, everything about it is great. They do so much 
to get everyone to play. They make it fun. They make everyone happy. They come up with all sorts of prizes. And then in a lot of cases, whoever gets the prize throws the prize back in and raffles it off so they make more money. So there's been a lot of different things that have made the tournament work financially for the up-and-coming students. Right. It really does matter. It's huge. Oh, totally, yeah. So, uh, yeah, thanks, Joel, and thanks to uh, Roy's Restaurant and uh, Ka'anapali Golf Course uh, for all your efforts in project graduation for La Luna and uh, whoever other organizations that support uh, Bowen High School and Maui, Maui High School. We're not familiar with them, but um, thank you, thank you, thank you. No, it is true, though. I mean, they work so hard. Everybody works so hard at it. And, uh, and Joel is the leader of the pack, Joel Navarro. Right. Ho'o Kelly, title in escrow. Uh, if you're buying or selling, consider Ho'o Kelly, title in escrow, Joel Navarro. So um, why don't we talk about a couple of listings? Perfect. Here's one that's um, kind of outside our, our norm. Uh, here's a property on Molokai. Its um, address is 9250 Kamehameha, the fifth highway in, on Molokai. It's a four-bedroom, three-bath, 2,200-plus square feet, and uh, is listed by Jane Ford out of our Kowa Banker Kapalua office. And, um, and again, for, for the show, uh, call either myself, 808-870-7060, or Betty at 808-870-7062, and uh, we'll direct you to Jane Ford or whoever um, has a listing for what we're going to talk about. You know, I've got a couple of these properties that are listed by Marianne Fitch. And, um, and I know we've got three or four of them here that are really great. But there's one um, at Maluna Kai, mm-hmm. you know, listed at a million nine, fifty forty five Lower Hono Pialani Road. You know, definitely worth taking a look at. It's part of a sweet little community. It's right near the Alailoa subdivision. And uh, you can walk to the Napili Market, which oh, is very not a easily. bad thing. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, really, really a, a nice, nice property. And uh, here's one that uh, Betty will find very familiar. It's a, it's a home at 11 Huanui Way. It's a three-bedroom, three-bath, a little over 2,000 square feet. And it's listed at a uh, million eight seventy-five. listed by El Chiarella and Ray Chen out of the Kowa Banker office. And again, uh, you can contact uh, myself, 808-870-7060 or Betty at 808-870-7062. You want to talk about this? I do, yeah. Yeah. We built that house. (laughs) And we lived there until we ended up moving up to Kapalua. But it was hard to sell it because I really didn't want to sell it. I figured that one of these days we would move back into it. We built a fabulous, I think, a fabulous house. You had to go, you couldn't build on the ground. You had to go up because how close it is to the water, and it's also in a floodplain coming down. So, I mean, there were a few, you know, what people thought of as negatives, but we lived there forever and were high enough with that house that I believe it's going to be comfortable for anybody. Yeah. I think to have it become a major problem is almost... Well, it's kind of like, would you give up living on the ocean because you're afraid of whatever? No, this is uh, is, right across the street from the ocean, um, 11 Huanui Way. It's uh, in the Huanui uh, Kahana Vai, actually, subdivision. And a great little subdivision, mostly owner-occupants. It's gated. And uh, we built this house, uh, the second level basically is our living level, with the ground floor being the garage and huge storage area. Most, it's, it's really a living area. Downstairs. I mean, we had a workout area downstairs. Right. We had kind of a little bit of everything there. Tons of storage. Upstairs, the screened porch yeah. is totally livable. You know, it's, it could get rained on, in a, you know, kind of if the rain is totally coming at you. But it never did. I mean, never got really wet no. from anything. And we our cats lived loved out there. it. Our cats loved it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, our current house, they're not that, 
yeah, taken with no it all. It's just them. kind of a house. Yeah. But they loved that house. Yeah, absolutely. So if anybody wants to buy that, call me. Yeah. I, I think you so might want to. It's a hot new listing. It just came on the market. Um, or call Ray Chin. Yeah. Ray or or L Chiarella. Or, again, call uh, call Roy or Betty. Um, and, again, we'll give you our phone numbers again in a in a second here. What else? What else have you got there coming up? Let me see here. Hui Road A. Uh, no, I'm not even sure where that is. Yeah. So that's even harder. Well, that's in the hills over in Napili. Yep. Three bedroom, three bath. Oh, I do know what this yeah. is. Yeah. It listed at right now 3.95. Um, that's a good location listed by Peggy at our office, Peggy Lynn Spiker. At, um, but really a nice, nice property. Yeah, kind of changed the pace. Uh, here's one that's uh, affordable. It's a good uh, uh, rental property if you're looking for a rental property. This is right in Kahului. At, uh, it's at Harbor Lights. It's a two-bedroom, uh, one-and-a-half bath apartment. Uh, Harbor Lights right off the uh, Kahului Harbor. And it's listed by Jane Ford uh, from our office. And again, call myself, Roy, at 808-870-7060 or Betty at 808-870-7062. And uh, we can give you more details and uh, direct you to Jane Ford, who has this listing. What else do you see there? I, I, you know, I keep coming up with some of these old things, and we're down to about four minutes. The, like, procrastination yeah. to buy or not to buy. Now, okay. this is a little bit hard to read, but it, it really is a great thing. I hesitate to make a list of all the countless deals I've missed, bonanzas that were in my sight. I watched through my fingers slip. The windfields, which I should have bought, were lost because I overthought. I thought of this. I thought of that. I could have sm sworn I smelled a rat, and while others bought them at that price, another grabbed them. It seems I always hesitate, then make my mind up much too late. A very cautious man am I, and that is why I never buy. How Nassau and how Suffolk grew, North Jersey, Staten Island, too. While others culled those sprawling farms and welcomed deals with open arms. A corner here, 10 acres there, compounded values day by day. I chose to think, and while I thought, they bought the deals I should have bought. The golden chances I had then are gone and will not come again. Today, I cannot be enticed for everything so overpriced. The deals of yesteryear are dead, the market's soft, and so's my head. Last night I had a fearful dream. I know I wakened with a scream. Some Indians approached my bed. For trinkets on the barrel head, they'd sell Manhattan, Isle to me. The most I'd go was 24, and nothing less, and nothing more. The most I'd go, 23. The red men scowled, not on a bet, and sold to Peter Menuet. At times, a teardrop drowns my eye for deals I had but did not buy. And now life's saddest words I pen, if only I'd invested then. Absolutely. I just think that's been fun over the years. Yeah. It's gotten harder so, to read, but it's um, yeah. fun. And now we've got Danny Couch back here with I Love Hawaii. We love Hawaii. We sure do. Aloha all. Aloha.